Notification volume, zero percent. Good afternoon, and welcome to Blindformers. I am your host, Blind Prime, and for today, I will be transforming for you Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Tracks. This transformation is a bit on the difficult side, so please bear with me. This video may be a bit longer than normal. I'm hoping it isn't. I'm hoping that I've practiced this enough to get it by just like that, but as you've seen in other videos of Blindformers, occasionally the Transformer doesn't want to, um, well, doesn't want to be cooperative during the video. So, here's hoping Trax is cooperative today, and we can actually get this done in a reasonable amount of time. Um, if you're watching this, you know, you found yourself on Blind Prime, a channel devoted to raising awareness for the blind through alternative means and methods, and also a channel devoted to giving audio description to reviews and stuff so that the blind can better make purchasing decisions. You know, it's important to include everybody, and uh, it's my channel's goal to include the blind. Well, if you wouldn't mind, do those things that everybody asks you to do below. That'd help out this channel a lot, and take ma major steps forward to raising awareness for the blind. Alright, well, um, whenever I talked about the robot mode on him, I uh, made some mistakes. So we're going to fix the mistakes I made first before we get into the actual transformation. Number one, I had his uh, legs twisted the wrong way. As I discovered, there's this little skirt right here, and uh, I had it twisted where there's like this pinhole, and... Uh, I realized that was that was wrong. Yeah, Trax has a pinhole on his butt, a, a butthole. Out of all of the things for Trax to have, he even has that. Um, I also forgot to mention that there were siege ports on the on each leg, and those siege ports are actually shown in uh, vehicle mode as well. So that makes vehicle mode four siege ports, and if you transform it into aircraft mode, that makes six siege ports, and in uh, robot mode here, he's got two on his shoulders, two on the arms, one on each hand, so that's six, seven, eight, nine, eight. yeah, nine, ten, counting the feet, and then on the back, he's got one and then two, so that's 12 siege ports overall. As a deluxe series, 12 siege ports isn't bad. I mean, it doesn't... I mean, it's a pretty pretty nice size number for a deluxe. It's nowhere near a hound level of siege ports, but it's pretty close. Okay, we're done talking about the siege port stuff, so let's get your wings straightened out. You can go. He's got two little wings on his back. Uh, we'll remove the uh, accessories first. He comes with this weird cannon thing that you can put on his shoulder, and then he comes with these double cannons that I'm using as a shield on one of the arms. But these uh, weapons can also you know, just just fall over. And these weapons can also assemble together. There's a siege port on top of the double weapon to allow you to stack them and make them a triple weapon. And this is uh, you, you put this on the back end of the vehicle mode. And that's where the weapon storage is. I guess they're like some speedy rockets or something. Okay, so what you want to do with tracks first is you're going to want to raise up the the car shield on the back, like uh, the the shell of a car, the roof and the windshield, the, which are stacked together to become a backpack. You know, this is one of those things I dislike about Transformers is when they do major, you know, big shell parts. Instead of finding a unique and interesting way to uh, merge these car parts into the transformation, they just kind of shove it on the back. Uh, I don't like kibble like this, eh, but it's okay. It just adds on to the pile of reasons I don't like tracks. So let's work on one of those reasons now. So first off, grab his chest. After you've raised that, you can reach underneath him and hold him steady because you don't want to hold him by this thing. You don't want it to break off. And then you want to make sure that his chest piece, which feels like a little window, and it has an Autobot symbol on there. It's actually textured. Is that an Autobot symbol that's textured on there? No, it's just the little box that his Autobot symbol is in, unless I'm misremembering that. But that little box is textured. It's got a little line going all the way around it. That's kind of neat. Uh, so, first off, rotate the... Uh, I know, I've said first off a few times. Uh, rotate the legs 180 degrees so that the butthole is sticking out towards the front. And then pull up the chest panel that the little 
windows in and then break him. Um, by break him, I mean put your thumb and forefinger on his waist, you know, the forefinger covering the butthole, and then put your uh, thumb on your other hand on his back, right? There's some texturing stuff there, like a big square area. Put your thumb there. That's a nice solid point to break it from. And then you're going to want to break it in half, like try to you know, bend him over your knee or something, like some crazy suplex. What that will do is disengage an extra hinge from inside the core of the robot. And then you can straighten that out and uh, make him a little longer. Now he's crazy tall, but he's like got stupid skinny midsection. <laughs> it's like some horror movie with a, he's got the vertebrae sticking up his back, but that's it for his guts. Like, Rawr. I'm just, just going to grab his guts and drag him out. Okay. Now we're going to move over to the legs. So flip him upside down where his uh, chest is facing the ground. And then on his back of each leg, there is a uh, door to open. Um, it's a little hinged door which will open. It's actually the front of the legs, the front of the, uh, the ankle area. And uh, this is going to allow you to do some cool stuff. You can now, now that the doors are open on each of these legs, which... It's just at the bottom of the leg, and the entire front of the leg will open. You can then slide it back, and what that will do is there's a, there's a couple of joints in the knee, and you're just going to want to shove that entire upper leg area into this recessed place, and then close the door. Um, we're going to move the, the wheels in a second, which means you have to reopen the doors, but for right now we're going to close them just so they stay out of the way while we're doing this side. So I'm going to shove it in there as far as it will go. There we go. Now, since we've done both sides, I won't close this door. Instead, we're going to rotate this leg. So this is the part I, I despise. It's rotating these uh, wheels on the sides. So raise your arm up over there so people can see if they can see. So this is a weird one. I just like it. And you want to you want to grab this foot area. So what you want to do is you're going to want to twist this entire area where the foot is connected to the side of a car and there's that wheel. That entire thing needs to turn 180 degrees, but the foot needs to be on top. So this is going to require a little bending of plastic, and this is the part I dislike. You're going to drag the, uh, you're going to rotate it around clockwise, and then it's going to go on a little beam, and the foot is going to rest right near where the uh, the uh, thigh connects, the hip connects area, the area where the hip connects. And uh, then you're going to want to slightly pull it away from the robot and then slide it over and down. It's got enough of a hinge where it will allow that, but, you know, I had to discover that for my own, and it gave me a nightmare. Yeah. That's for the part of this guy that I just disliked. Okay, we're going to follow the same process on this side. So wait, first, we're going to go ahead and... Go back over here, make sure everything is collapsed in there, and then we can shut the door. Okay, now we shut the door for that leg, and we're going to open the door for the leg we that we started on. This guy is going to rotate counterclockwise, and you're going to want to put the foot on the back of the thigh area, and then you're just going to want to move it. This is just such a annoying part of the transformation. I'm just going to grab it like that. There we go. Okay, cool. We've got it around and over the edge, so you just have to pull the leg in one direction and pull the uh, foot area in another so that they can slide past each other. That's a part of this transformation that I don't understand, and I'm wondering if I'm doing it wrong, and if I'm not doing it wrong, then why does it exist? It's a horrible bit of transformation, and it can lead to mold deg you know, not mold degradation, but transformer degradation down the line, possible breakage if you transform it too many times. That's why after I transform this guy into his car mode, I'm not taking him out of car mode for a while. I like the car mode more than I like the robot mode. What was that? Uh-huh. This happens every time. Every time I do a video on, on a Blindformers, the uh, the wheel just popped off. You know, this Transformer Transformers never want to work with you. They never want to work with you. 
No, I'm an easy guy to work with. Come on, guys. Okay. So now that you've gotten the legs transformed around, we're going to then want to make sure they're nice and steady. The uh, Now that they are lined up and you've connected them together, so after you've put the uh, feet up above the uh, thighs so that they rest on the... Um, they rest on top or on the back of the thigh, I guess. The uh, the car piece, the car hood, should be able to snap together pretty well, and it does. And uh, right at the top, right between the legs, you'll find that there's this little lip, and there's a square peg that is formed whenever you put both of the uh, both of the legs together to create the front of the car, the hood of the car. Now that's going to be very important. This piece is going to be very important in actually getting all of this guy together in such a way that he will stay together. So now we're moving on to stage two. Stage two will be, we're going to rotate the uh, arms. So you want to fold the hands into the forearms. It's going to be an easy process. Just fold each of the hands into the forearms. There you go. And once you've done that, rotate the arms around. Um, you want to kind of fold them all the way down so that they face towards the ground. Now that the um, now that you have the front of the car made where the wheels are, uh, they're gonna face down in the same direction as the wheels. Once they do that, rotate the arm so that this uh, there's this textured bit that feels like the side of a car, like it has a little, what feels like a door handle in it and stuff. And it's got a little edge at the bottom that signifies the edge of a car. And you're going to want to go ahead and do that same process on this side. You're going to go grab that little bit, rotate it. You can figure it out because there's one side of the hand and the arm that the hand folds into. Then there's one that has a siege port. Then there's one that has some crazy texture. And then there's one that's just completely smooth with a little bit of texture on one end that can be a doorknob or a door handle. You want to make sure you've lined all that up. Now that you've lined all that up, you're going to rotate both of the arms forward and with the uh, wings them and the wings are going to rotate all the way forward so that the hands and the arms are now level with the hood area of the car and you should have two little wind the uh, the side view mirrors which kind of poke out the sides it now will look like an almost complete car missing its top now that we've gotten to that point Rotate this backpack that I complained about earlier, and inside of it, there's this giant window section, and you want to make sure you've pulled it out all the way on its own hinges, and it's going to snap into place. You heard that nice snap. It's going to snap into place right with the uh, rest of this car top to form a nice car shell. And this car shell is going to then just fold downwards. This is another part of the transformation that's annoying because it's on a rotating joint that moves at 360 degrees. And that means that this can be a little difficult to actually rotate into the correct spot. It never wants to rotate correctly. It always wants to give you a hard time. But once you've lined up the, uh, the top of the car with the bottom area, then you just slam it down. And this is that part of the transformation which some Transformers have which is that what I like to call move it around until it fits. So you're just going to want to rotate everything around and squeeze it and move it and squash it and try to get everything rotated correctly. It's the feet on this robot that make it difficult because if they didn't get lined up right, I've explained how to line them up, I hope. Let's see. Those feet are a pain. They are straight up. He lost his wheel again. Okay, we're just going to keep that wheel off for now. There it goes. All right, now that you've, you just snap that piece in and then everything should follow suit unless it's that feet. It's those feet. I know it. I knew it. I screwed up the feet. Didn't I screw up the feet? I screwed up the feet. Now I now I popped in the window and it's gonna be difficult to get out out. Everything's all screwed up. No! You didn't work with me again every single time. 
And then when you get that peg in, this thing is impossible. It's like, why didn't you put such a strong peg on the rest of the transformer? This, these, these, these people, man. There it goes. Okay, break off that. Lower that down. Let's rotate these legs, or these feet. So these feet are a pain. They are a pain. They are a pain. They never want to go right in any, any form or fashion. They always want to screw up. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. I wish there was something else you could do with them. They just kind of fold in there, but if you fold them in wrong, which I just rotated each foot uh, 360 degrees so that the flat of the foot, the flat top of the foot is now facing upwards. I hope that's the right way. I always forget what's the right way to twist these feet because it's not very intuitive. It's just kind of like a twist the feet. Did you get it right? No, twist the feet again. Did you get it right? No, twist the feet again. Okay. You're gonna try and see if that twisting of the foot, we're gonna lower both of these arms down so that we can have a better grip on this top section. And we're gonna get into it real quick. And these stupid feet, these stupid, stupid feet. All right, did that get it? No, oh, these stupid feet are in the way still. Okay, now the feet are going to move. Ugh. Oh my god. I can't believe I always forget where to twist these feet. They are such a pain. Maybe if I slide each foot underneath the windshield there. The faux windshield on this top. There we go. That can fit there. And then this bit goes, goes, goes over there. Come on. Come on. Get out of there. Get, good God, your legs are so annoying. Why is there so many moving parts here? Come on, come on. Okay, good. No, no, no. Get in your home. There. Snap. Snap into place. Everything else is fitting right. I think I got the feet right. Now I just need you to snap into place, you little, little thing. Get in there. Get in your home. What, you too good for your home? You too good for your home? Get in your home. There. Okay, now we just move everything around a bit. Lord have mercy, I did it again. These stupid feet, oh my god. Okay, okay, I think I got it enough where I can actually reach in there and move the foot around. So we're going to do that. Oh, it would help if uh, something getting didn't get screwed up. Oh my god, your stupid foot. Stop. Stop it. Oh, the canopy's rotated wrong again. All right, that's in place, that's in place, that's not in place, that's not in place at all. Get in there, good grief. Why aren't you just, ah! Now my hands are getting sweaty. Okay, all right, we got you, we got you. You're missing a wheel, you done screwed your feet up again. How do you keep screwing your feet up? Okay, now I'm going to rotate the feet. So that they're each facing each other. There we go. Maybe that's the way to rotate the feet. Crap. How did I forget this? Yeah. Yeah. Just so y'all know, this is... This is my, one of my least favorite transformations in all of Kingdom. Got it! And I screwed up the feet again. Crap! My god. I keep getting it right, but not right. right maybe if I can just rotate, look, reach in here and get these... Oh, oh, that's been the problem. This foot in here on this side keeps getting hung up on stuff. Get out of being hung up on stuff, you stupid foot. Oh, my God. All right, are y'all done being idiots, you stupid feet? No? No, because this one got turned around? Oh, yeah, that one's right. Now this one's wrong. Now, now that one's right. Okay, now both feet are right. Okay, you gotta reach in there and actually just rotate them around until they're the correct position. And maybe all this will fit right. Maybe. I'm not promising anything. Barely promising anything with this guy. Okay, all right, there's that. That's right. That window section is still wrong. Get out of the way, you stupid window. Okay, okay. Get. Now the rearview mirror's caught up on something. Okay. We're just, oh, oh, the entire shell messed up. Oh, that's the problem. Now the shell for this guy messed up. Now I got to disconnect it so I can reconnect the shell back together. All right, now that the shell is put back in place and both of the feet have screwed up once again, 
we are just going to snap that down, put that piece in place, open it up, really resist the urge to rip the feet off, rotate the feet again. Maybe this is the correct rotation this time. I don't know. We're going to try. We're just going to put both of the feet like, like so. I don't know. How has this happened? How these feet like this? Okay. All right. Now I've, now I've lined both of the feet up so that the siege ports face each other. And hopefully that will be the winner. Yes, yes. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Close the, the shell pattern back down. Try and snap it into place. Try to snap it into place. Fail at snapping it into place. Realize that the feet are wrong. Rotate the feet again. Rotate the feet again. Maybe if I rotate them at a 45 degree angle facing back towards the canopy, maybe that will work. Maybe it won't. Uh, that didn't work. Rotate the feet again. Rotate the feet again. This time we're going to rotate the feet so that the foot pads are now facing downwards. I think I already did that before, but maybe I just screwed up something else. Okay, rotate. now we've rotated the feet. Uh, Never get this thing for your child. Your child will break this within, you know, if they're not a patient child, they will just destroy this thing. Because I've wanted to destroy this thing a couple of times on this video already. And I'm an adult. All right. We're going to just get that together. Come on, get in there. In this. There. Aha. I snapped it into place again. Cool. Cool. But both of the rearview mirrors are screwed up again. Darn it. And it, the canopy popped out. Oh, right, gosh. Okay, okay. That's in place. Now you're, now you're in place. Okay, you're not in place because you're just a crappy, crappy transformation. You're just such a crappy transformation. I say, I just like this so much. This is such a terrible transformation. Oh my God, the foot's stuck in the workings again. Get the hell out of there, you stupid foot. Oh my God. I hate these feet so much. All right, all right, we're gonna we're gonna try and shove the. I think I got it right. I think I got it right. No, nope, the arms don't shove back in there, which means that the feet are screwed up again. They're not leaving enough room for the arms. <sighs> okay. All right. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I mean, I, I had it. I had it last night. I had it earlier today. I've already transformed you three times. Why are your feet such a pain in my balls? Okay, we're, gonna, we're just going to level both feet out again. Okay, I'm just going to try and shove the feet. Maybe it's the center panel isn't lower? No, the center panel's correct. Let's put, let's line up all of the components again. We're going to put all of that together. There we go. Then we're going to, all right, now I've gotten both of the feet lined up with the flat sides facing up, kind of like little reclining chairs inside of a cockpit. Maybe that's the correct pose to put them in. I hope, I hope. Um, it, you know what? You know what? It's good enough. It's good enough. Okay, where's the wheel? Where'd the wheel go? Where, where, where did that wheel go? Ah, here's the wheel. Okay, let's put the wheel back. Put the wheel back on. There we go. All right. Whew. We're gonna now put the double gun thingy right into this uh, siege port that's on the very back, and then we're gonna put the little rocket thingy onto the siege port on the trunk. There we go. And there you have it. There is your. That didn't work at all. That's stupid. We're just gonna. We're gonna put them both together. All right. Rotate them around. Now we'll just slap them down here. Okay. Cool. We'll put both vehicles there. All right, guys. And it screwed up again. Good God. And the wheel fell off again. This is tracks. Tracks. I, the wheel fell off again. All right. I don't like tracks. I don't like tracks at all. Uh, this has been the Blindformers episode on how to transform tracks. Uh, if you feel like banging your head up against the wall, 
Rhea screaming in rage and throwing it across the room, I suggest you buy tracks. If you feel like having none of those negative emotions, then save your money and go get something else. Something that's a much better thing, like a Cyclonus. Or, you know, a Cyclonus. Or a Hound from Siege. You know, those are all fun transformations. Did I say uh, Cyclonus? Yeah, yeah. And the Rodimus Prime. There's, there's, there's plenty of good transformations in Kingdom to be had. Honestly, this has just been a terrible transformation, and um, I think I'm just going to end it there. Anyway, I've been Blind Prime, and you've been watching Blind Formers. And I hope you've enjoyed the show, and I hope you learned something today. And uh, I hope I've convinced you to save some of your money. Well, until next Prime, bye-bye.